I'm David Hunt with Bush County Community Information, and today we're on the hunt for derelict vessels. One we just removed had 100 gallons of diesel in it, all kinds of chemicals that can go into the waterway. Just because it's derelict doesn't mean you can hook to it, drag it off, and make it your own. Leave it where it's at. Just report it. I care because I love the water. You can't replace the aquatic habitat for these organisms. Derelict vessels, we hate them. They're eyesores and are detrimental to the environment. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission establishes rules regarding derelict vessels in Florida's navigable waters. A vessel is considered derelict if it is abandoned and either dismantled or in non-working condition. If a vessel is reported derelict to the FWC, FWC officers will investigate and work to locate the owners of the vessel. If the owner does not remove the vessel, they are cited and the vessel may be removed by a municipality with permission from the FWC. Derelict vessels in Volusia County's 29-mile section of the St. Johns River and its tributaries are the responsibility of Volusia County's Environmental Management Division. After FWC does all the legal processes, they will give us what's called a letter of authorization. Basically, it just says that we can remove the derelict vessels. We take the pollutants off of the vessel and then the vessel itself is taken out of the water. It's completely um, demolished and taken to the Tomoka landfill. Uh, we started this program in 2019 to remove derelict vessels from the St. Johns River. In that time we've removed 13 vessels. We were able to get uh, $295,250 from FWC for the removal of those 13 vessels. All right, so we've seen about four derelict vessels already, and now we got some rain coming in, and uh, what are we gonna do now, Daryl? This is what it is. Uh, we have to deal with the rain, sun, heat, cold. Uh, when you're out here, you just have to make the best of it. And it's not just the weather. They gotta deal with a lot more. Removing the vessels, each one of them are unique in their own way. Um, we've have some that are in shallow water, and they're easy to get to. Some of them are in eight, nine feet of water and make it very difficult. Uh, we had one vessel that uh, had a water moccasin on that kept us off of it for almost an entire day before we could net it and remove it. All the wildlife has to be removed. We do not kill anything. All right, so that's a wrap. Daryl, Sandra, thank you so much. Was that a successful derelict vessel hunt? Yes, we were, uh, went about a mile out and uh, we came across four vessels that we need to investigate. So is there any parting words for the people of Volusia County? Yeah, um, if you come across a derelict vessel in Volusia County or on the St. Johns River, um, contact us. Um, we sure use the public's help or contact FWC. This is the portion of the video where all our east side residents start asking, well, what about us? Well, the Volusia County Coastal Division worked in partnership with the FWC to remove three vessels in 2020 and 10 vessels in 2022 from the east side of Volusia County. The county is currently assembling a grant request to remove 12 derelict vessels that have been authorized for removal by the FWC in and near the Intracoastal Waterway, as well as 15 additional vessels damaged or sunk during Hurricane Ian and signed over to the FWC by the vessel's owners. Why do you care? Well, I, I live here. Uh, my son, my grandkids live here. I love the river. I love to go out fish. I love to, um, you know, take them to the Glen or the waterways here in Volusia County. Um, and I want to, to leave something behind. I don't want them to have a trashy river, you know.